111 million homes in the United States and Canada. Pastor Burns is a frequent guest on many news programs and is frequently interviewed in publications. He is the executive producer of both It's Your Harvest Now with Pastor Mark Burns that currently airs nationally on the Impact Network and Rejoice Today. Along with his wife, Tamara, Pastor Burns and his wife have six children and they reside in South Carolina. Let's welcome Pastor John Burns. excited about Donald Trump being the next president of the United States of America. I am so excited, Tampa, Florida, that Donald Trump is back in Florida today. But not only is he back in Florida, he is back as the Republican nominee that's going to win. Y'all not making enough noise for me, Florida. I don't think you're really excited to have Donald Trump elected to be the next president. I am so excited because no matter how hard the liberal media tries to change your mind. We, we love them, we love them. But no matter how many times they try to sway your opinion of Donald Trump, the harder they hit you, the harder we hit back. Because we know Donald Trump. And we know that he is a man of conviction. He is a man that believes in our principles. He is a man that believes in the name of Jesus Christ. And he is going to make sure that those Islamic jihadist terrorists never step foot the great soul of the United States of America. Never. Somebody shout never. Shout never. And I don't know about you, but we will never let Hillary Clinton ever still put in the White House. And the thing I, the thing I love you, Florida. But the thing that I truly despise about Hillary Clinton, she tries to call Donald Trump the racist. She's the racist. She's the racist. Because the Democratic Party has been doing everything they can to separate us divide us so we can hate each other and not love each other because they understand that divided we are weak but together we are because I have said it across this country that there are no white people there are no black people. There are no Hispanic people. There are no Asian people. There are no colors that separate us. But the only colors that matter is the colors of the red, white. USA. Trump is uniting the party and we together are going to march into Cleveland as one people, as one voice, as 
just one song party and we are kicking Obama and the Hillary administration out of the White House for good. Somebody shout never again. As one people. Shout never again. Do we ever allow a candidate to treat our veterans as wrong as the Democrats and the Obama administration has? And Donald Trump, it saddens me because when Donald Trump starts talking about building that wall, they want to call him racist. We are tired. Somebody shout, we're tired, we're tired. We're tired of being too politically correct that nothing ever gets done. And but we need a candidate that's not owned by no special interest groups. We wall, they want to call him racist. We are tired. Somebody shout, we're tired, we're tired. We're tired of being too politically correct that nothing ever gets done. But we need a candidate that's not owned by no special interest groups. We need a candidate that's a warrior. We need a candidate that's a fighter. We need a president that will speak for the people of the United States of America. And that is only Donald J. Trump. <laughs> Hillary is a racist. She panders out the black people. She panders out the Hispanic people. And she uses them just to steal their vote and not really bring the people together. But under Donald Trump, all of that will be eliminated. Donald Trump is going to build that wall, America, and who's going to pay for it? Because he understands that under the Democratic Party, the rich stay rich and the poor becomes poor. But he understands, like he said yesterday, and didn't he do a good job at the freedoms at the freedom in Washington D.C. I want you to know he's watching you live right now as he's on his way on RSTVBN Network. Y'all need to let Donald Trump know you're ready for him. Let him know. Let him know. Let him know. Trump, 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 Trump. We are electing a man in Donald Trump that believes the Second Amendment will never be touched under his administration. Never, never, shall never. Because the Democrats want to make us weaker and I am tired of us focusing on the colors that divide us but we've got to start focusing on the colors that unite us. And that is only the red, white, blue of America. Because when we're together, ISIS will never step foot on this great soil. And I love it about Donald Trump. Because he's a man that is truly out of the heart of Americans. He is truly believes in us. He truly believes in the common man. Somebody said to me a long time ago, they said, Pastor Mark, who are you? Nobody knew you. You are just a nobody. And I said, you're absolutely right. I'm a nobody. And there are millions of nobodies like you that are standing behind Donald Trump 
because he is not after the, the names. He's after the no names. He's after you. He's after me. He is going to fight for us. Somebody say he's fighting for us. And I'm never with her, but I'm always with him. I said, I'm never with her, but I'm always with him. And in reality, Hillary belongs in prison. How is she even allowed to run for the office? And the people, listen to me. Isn't it amazing how all of the media say, oh my Lord, Obama has, has, has endorsed Hillary. Oh, we need to break out in a sweat. They have no idea that they're really helping our case. Because we know that under the last eight years of democratic rule, our country lies in ruins. Nobody respects us. We are weak to the world. But the day that Donald Trump stepped foot in the White House, Every nation will be reminded that we are the United States of America and Tampa, Florida. I'm Pastor Mar Burns, and I help you to help me elect the next president of these United States of America, Donald J. Trump.